assumed that when adults with smartphones are randomly selected, 54% of them, 54% use them in meetings or classes. If five adult smartphone users are selected, find the probability that at least three of them use their smartphones. So this problem is binomial. We have two possible outcomes, right? You can either use a smartphone or do not use a smartphone in your meeting or class. So P is always given in these problems. And usually it's a decimal or a percent. So this 54% here, that's, that's P. That's the probability of success. In this problem, we care about people using their smartphones. So success is using their smartphones. We have five people total. That's our N. N is always the bigger number. It's the total number of people. We want the probability. It says probability, so P. That at least three of them use their smartphones. So X is the number of people using their smartphones. So at least three, at least is greater than or equal to three. So three or more. It's the symbol for at least, right? At least. That's it. Now we just go to StatCrunch and type in the numbers. So you click on question help. And you go to where it says StatCrunch. So StatCrunch. And then it's just stat calculators binomial. So it's, let me do it again. You click on question help. You go to stat crunch, then it's stat calculators binomial. Then just type everything in. In this case, n was five, p is 0.54, and we want at least three. Boom, there it is. It wants four decimals, so 0.5747. So 0.57. Four, seven. You got to be really careful with the rounding. The eight uh, rounds up that six to seven. So 0.5747. So 0.5747. And that's it.